Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're going to take a look at what is coming towards you in love, okay? What is the energy coming towards you in love? So let's see here. Let's, ooh, I'm going to pull from the Lover's Oracle. Okay. So the overall energy here of this reading is manifesting miracles. Earlier today, we got the manifestation card. Now we have manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So something here is growing. This is some sort of you know, some manifesting tree. Yeah, I see all the elements on here. So your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to flow to follow its guidance. All right. Give us one card here for Aries. So I'm going to pull an energy card. I saw, oh, I don't know if that was supposed to come up. All right. We have acceptance. I saw patience. So Aries, be patient. All right. Let's see here. And imagination. That's that's let me pull one more. That's the manifestation card for me in this deck. And freedom. And guess what? Freedom is at the bottom here, too. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So whatever you want, whatever you're trying to manifest, the path is clear, Aries. I'm trying to this gone. Do this reading. Okay. So You have acceptance, imagination, and freedom, okay? At the bottom of the deck, you have the death card, which is transformation. So it says, acceptance, you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. So there is something here that you are breaking free from, from your past. Imagination, it says, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. I mean, Aries, get creative with it. Daydream, okay? Imagine exactly what you want um, out of love, okay? Because this is manifesting miracles and imagination. Okay, we have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. All right, let's speak here. What is coming towards Aries and love? Right, what is being towards Aries and love? What is coming towards Aries and love? Look at that, Aries, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you're about to be getting to know someone. I'm hearing make it good. Make it good. I feel like someone is playing safe, playing it safe in the manifesting game. Ask for what the fuck you want, Aries, okay? Don't sell yourself short because you think maybe it might not happen for you or that might be out of your league or whatever. Ask for what you want. At the bottom of the deck, we have worth waiting for, chemistry, free yourself in reverse, and true love. Tell us more here. What is coming towards Aries in love? So it definitely seems like a newer situation. But I heard a spirit say, we're giving you time. We're giving you time. So we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. That's why spirit is giving you time. Because there's still some things here with acceptance. You are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. There are some things possibly that still need to kind of be let go of. Okay. Um, and we have deception that flipped over. So someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Aries, could it be you? Okay. Okay. Could it be you because you're not ready to open up all the way completely in love just yet? Okay, maybe you've been hurt before and you're not necessarily ready, but we'll see. Let's pull one more. Good. 
attraction. You, re you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Love that. Okay. So we have flirts. We'll put that down over here. We'll see. This out the way. All right. What do we have here? Cards trying to look out now. For Aries in love. Let's turn it towards Aries. Now, Aries, also what I'm getting is that there could be someone coming back towards you from your past who you may still, you know, have a little, not just necessarily releasing, but it says as you release and heal the past. This person may be coming back towards you um, for an apology, wanting forgiveness as well. But again, you don't, you can forgive somebody from a distance. So just be careful. Look at that. As I split the deck, I see karmic relationship. So just be careful if this person comes back towards you. Um, definitely the answer is to release them. So this new thing, whoever you're getting to know, um, can come in smoothly. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have here for Aries? What's coming towards Aries? Look at that. Engagement ring. Engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. We have clock. Need time takes time in time cycles, time to heal and progress. All right. And then we have someone being persistent. Okay. Then you have someone coming in being persistent, somebody with closure issues. Okay. With the hammer and the boat, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation. Oh goodness. Not interrogation. Repetitive, persistent, and working on it. Okay. Um, with the boat, we have receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So you have somebody to come back, who's about to come back in areas and be very, very persistent. Um, they're going to question you about what you got going on in a new situation. Um, we have heart with the key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect, healthier choices, abundance, Aries, you are not thinking about the past. All right. Some of you, some of you, I've just got like really heavy that some of you, this is a past person that you may not even think is like you're on their radar anymore. You don't think about them. They went off, you know, someone else. You don't even think that they're even thinking about you. So you you could be watching this right now and be like, well, that part's not for me. And then lo and behold, you get a message from someone that's like a year ago, maybe even months ago. And then they're going to come in questioning, like they probably never let go of you. They probably never really got over you. So it may be a shock to you, but this is something that's been on their mind. Guys, I'm giving up coffee only for just like, you know, cute little outings and stuff or whenever I need coffee, like when I'm out and about for um, like, you know, mom things, you know, when you need that extra boost, boost but if you can help me, I'm trying to give up um, <laughs> coffee <laughs> and make it more of a, um, I don't want to say reward, but <laughs> make it more of a fun thing and not like a drug. Okay. So you're going to see me sipping a lot more tea. All right. That's the healthier route to go. I'm taking this health thing serious. All right. <clears throat> All right, so let's take a look here. What's going on for Aries? What is going towards Aries? So if you see me with coffee too soon, too often, question me about it, okay? All right, what is coming in for Aries? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising in love. What is coming in for Aries? Oof, got the nine of swords. Someone is stressed. And the king of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm getting, you know, when I was first talking about somebody coming back in, I was getting a strong cancer, um, but definitely could be water sign as well. So let's see here. So what do we have here for Aries? Venus and rising. What's coming towards Aries and love? Oh, there it is. Five of cups here. Okay. Now, 
the five of cups here kind of flipped in reverse but five of cups and i see the five of wands competition two fives here someone here is regretful or remorseful here for letting this go down the drain for letting a situation leave now also if this came in reverse it was supposed to be in reverse also i feel like what's coming towards you is someone now this could be one and the same you could be with someone or newly with someone aries who is just getting out of a situation okay um so take it how it resonates <clears throat> let's see here what is the challenge here in love for aries with the situation the ace of cups the new person here is the challenge why is the new person the challenge Page of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. So that's not really a challenge at all. Tell me why this is the challenge here. The Star. Aries, somebody is wishing for a second chance with you. Somebody is praying and hoping for a second chance or a new beginning with you. This could be somebody that was you were in a relationship for. Oh, goodness. So I think this is going to be one of those sweet, little cute readings here. But no, the star card here, somebody is wishing, praying, hoping for a second chance. Okay. Air, his spirit is like Queen of Wands energy. Focus on you. And what are you manifesting is what I heard. So focus on your manifestations. What are you creating for yourself? Have fun doing it. Don't let any disturbances or disruptions. Look at that. Three of Wands, another manifestation card. Waiting for your ships to come in. The Fool here, New Beginnings, Ace of Pentacles. Could be done with a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus here. New person. But whoever this new person is, is going to be really solid and committed. All right. What are we leaving here in the past for Aries? The wheel of fortune. So there's something here. There's been a shift. There is a there has been a positive shift in your love life, whether you're experiencing it now or you're about to experience it in the future. But things have changed. Okay. I feel like you may have been really down and out when it comes to love, and now the wheel has turned. What goes up must come down, vice versa. Okay. So yeah, there's luck. Or fate, somebody fated coming in here in love, King of Swords in reverse. There's also someone here who was angry, okay, that they had to, are you detached from them? All right. Six of Pentacles, reciprocity, okay, balance. This really does look like balance in this card because we have the infinity sign. You know, Aries, your strength or what's going to be beautiful in this new connection is that there is going to be balance. That is going to be very hard. I mean, not not hard decision, but it's going to be like, you know, yes, you may have history with one person who's coming back in here. Deception, forgiving and learning. They're wanting you to Forgive them. You want they're wanting you to forgive the past, but when you meet this new person and you see that everything that you give and put into this connection you're getting back, you're not gonna be thinking about going back to someone who deceived you or put you through a whole bunch. You know, I would hope not. All right, let's see here. Whoop. We have the eight of pentacles in the future position here. Hey, somebody here is trying to figure out a way to get back in your good graces. Yep, the Hermit here, Virgo, Eight of Cups, Energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then Scorpio Energy with the Death card. Somebody in Seven of Swords, somebody is trying to figure out how to get back, get back in your good graces with the Eight of Pentacles. They could be watching you. They could be watching you at work, okay? They could be watching you at work in some way, or this could be, you know, it's not even the, the Page of Swords, but it could be social media, Four of Pentacles. They have not let go. Three of Pentacles, I said at work. Some of you could be at work. Some of you could have met this person at work and you don't work together, right? It's just maybe you walked into their job, you met them or vice versa. All right. What is your advice here, Gators? 
Your advice is to make sure that chapter is closed with anybody who has been deceptive, okay? A liar, cheater, backstabber, manipulator, narcissist, seven of swords here. That's that sneaky energy card. You got the world card, okay? So closing out cycles, leaving things in the past, in the past, okay? Um, so you can have more success in the future and the present moments. All right, Ace of Wands, second Ace though, but someone's coming back in very hot, very sexually, very passionately wanting a new beginning. Look what's still at the bottom of the deck, the Seven of Swords and the King of Wands. So this person wants what they want. They don't care who they have to deceive or trick to get it. Um, again, we got deception here. So they're going to say whatever they need to say, Aries, specifically to get in your pants, right? Because maybe they feel like that is the all they have to offer you, or that's the only way to get that um, access here to you. All right. What are your hopes and fears here, Aries? The Tower and the Three of Cups. You do not, okay, you're hoping like if this person comes back in, I don't think you really want to reconcile with this person here, Aries. Tell me about this three of cups. We have the chariot, which is moving forward here in more successful direction. Eight of wands, passion, two of pentacles, I'll show you, six of swords, and the empress. Yeah, you want the new love. Empress is new love, new beginnings, okay? Um, birth of a situation. You're moving on here from anybody who juggled you, okay? And you're going to find peace with the Six of Swords here. You're moving in a positive direction here with somebody else. The Three of Cups can also be a marriage card. So that may be a plan of yours here. But someone here with this tower card is wanting to come in and disrupt this. Okay, they're wanting to disrupt this. Seven of Wands here is the outcome. Protect yourself, protect your peace, protect your energy, Aries. Stand your ground. See, the Seven of Wands in the Rider Waite deck is more of a forceful energy, more of a this person is really struggling to win. But you go deep within Aries, and first of all, lean on your intuition first, right? And then after that, there's very little effort that you need. You just need to protect your energy from this person who's going to try to come in and disrupt everything. Also, protect this relationship. Ten of Cups here. If you're with a new person or if you met someone new, you're about to meet someone new for sure, Aries. Um, protect that, okay? Because whoever this new person is, they really want to offer you Real love. We got the engagement ring here. This is somebody who wants to go the distance with you. Um, you may be a little skeptical at first to accept this offer, but the Three of Pentacles here is saying that this person wants to grow with you. They want to build with you. Okay, they want to lay a foundation here. They want a happy life with you. This person is trying to get to know you. We're talking about this new person here, um, but. Aries, I want to say this, <laughs> don't give the new person, you know, issues and then just let this old person dance back in. Okay. We have the judgment here. Yeah. Needing to release what's no longer serving you. What's old. There may be something coming back up. Let's pull it more. Come. There's something coming back up from the past. As I say that the six of cups at the bottom of the deck with the devil and the five of wands competition, somebody coming in to start drama, to put up a fight, um, to create mess and, and cause havoc in between you and this new person. Tell us about this eight of pentacles and look at that. See the moon and the ten of swords. Somebody has ulterior motives and they are trying to sabotage the situation. All right. Let's take a look here at the eight of pentacles and the future position for Aries.
What is this Eight of Pentacles here and the future position? Eight of Cups and the Six of Wands here. All right. The Nine of Wands. There is someone here who cannot let go of this situation. They've walked away. Now they want to come back and, you know, bring up old stuff. They're not letting go of whatever happened in this situation. And whoever this is watching you, this is the person watching you, they're very confident that they can get you back. Like they feel like that you left a space for this person or you left a place holder for this person. So even if you went off and started something new, I just saw the cherry and I said cancer in the beginning, starting something new, they think that they can come back in and everything is going to be everything. Tell us about the five of cups. Very confident. Queen of Cups energy and the Ace of Pentacles. New beginnings. Let me see her. Who is this from? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again, Five of Cups. This is a person who's regretting. See the Hierophant. Now let's take a look at the Ace of Cups. The Nine of Cups. This is the wish fulfillment. And the Chariot, Cancer. Um, tell me more about this Ace of Cups. The Death card. So this is the different one. This is the transformation. So this is the person here who's coming in to offer you something different, Aries. And this is going to be a wish fulfillment, okay? This is going to be a wish fulfillment. Now, this, let me tell you this. Now, this new person, there could be definitely marriage on the lines here. But what I'm getting here now, I'm seeing with the Five of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Ace of Cups, there's somebody who still loves you, who is going to want to try to offer you some sort of commitment, okay? They're regretting whatever they put you through, and they're going to want to offer you some sort of commitment, okay? This new person that's coming in um, or has come in, they are real. They're the real deal. This is the wish fulfillment for you. This is going to be the one situation that's going to be successful. We have the death card here. It's like once the situation ended, look at that death card. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. So once you truly release, right, this past situation, you can continue to move forward or start to move forward with this new person. The Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. This definitely could lead to marriage. I feel that this other proposal that is trying to come in from this past person, I don't believe that it's real. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Look at that, the Page of Swords. Petty, immature, they're just saying whatever that comes to mind very quickly in order to get you to stay or to hang on to them in some way. The lovers and the empress. Now, this person has a very strong connection to you and attachment to you. They see the, you as the empress. So they see the empress has come out before. Yeah. Yeah. And it came out with the past person. They see you in this a very abundant energy, Aries. Okay. Maybe they want children with you, but if not, they just want a, a new beginning. They want to birth a new beginning here. Um, I just want to say they see you very abundant. Okay. Very beautiful. Very attractive. Tell us some more. Two of Swords, Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. But if you're not careful, Aries, if you're not careful, this person could block this new beginning, okay? This Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this new person, I feel like, has every intention of taking this to down the aisle, okay, with this Ten of Pentacles, for this being a solid commitment. Um, but the Two of Swords here is saying that there could be a blockage. What came right out? Page of Wands here. Tell us what this message is. Three of Wands and the Judgment. Will you wait for me? Will you wait for me? Okay. Somebody coming back saying, Will you wait for me? Temperance. Yep. They're wanting you to be patient. They're wanting you to wait for them, Aries. So you're going to be getting a message here very unexpectedly. Now, this person could have a lot of secrets so or had a lot of secrets or kept a mistress. They were very foolish with you. They played you here in some way with the fool in reverse. They were very reckless. Okay, Knight of Swords. They were very impulsive and they kept you in your head. They kept you stressed out. All right, let's pull some of these. And then we're all Close out the reading. Okay. 
Okay, what do we have here? I knew it. We got large sum of money coming. I keep saying very abundant with the, with the Empress coming out here. That could be another thing as well while this person is coming back. And they have they have something on the side, third party. We're going to clarify that. I see soulmates at the bottom of the deck. Pull one more. Someone is jealous of you, evil eye energy. Mm, okay. Let's take a look at your Aries. Who is this person who has something on this line? Show Aries who this person is that has something on the side. Eight of Cups, the one that walked away, the one that walked away and that's coming back, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. They walked away possibly to someone here for um, Page of Wands. It's kind of like, ugh, I'm getting like mothering vibes. So somebody here could have been very dependent, codependent. They may have walked away to, we have the lovers here, walked away to someone here. I'm going to say they didn't have emotions for them, but they're giving off more of a stability type of partner. And now they're wanting to heal something with you. Yeah, now they're wanting to come in and offer you this new cup of love. All right, they're, they're realizing, okay, they're realizing what they had here. The star card, the lovers here, and the ace of cups. And they went towards somebody here that was more like a friend, okay? They definitely, they had emotions for this person, but it's definitely more like a friend vibe, the judgment here. It seems like they're releasing something. Yeah, Queen of Swords and the Justice card. Now, this could, is like a divorce type of energy, X type of energy here, karmic situation. But yeah, they're keeping someone airy. So this person is coming back to you. Um, Five of Pentacles, they could have ghosted you or the person that they're dealing with now to come back towards you. But I don't, I feel like it's only temporary and spirit is saying, keep your guards up, keep this person blocked out. All right. Nine of swords here. They could put you back in a very stressful situation. Nine of wands, wounded warrior, five of wands, drama. And burdens. Keep your guard up, Aries. Keep your guard up. And like I said, some of you, this is like going to be the last thing you expect. Yeah. I look for you everywhere. This person, this is someone who you think has been long gone. You thought this person was long gone. They're saying, I look for you everywhere. I remember every detail. Uh, I remember every detail of that day, and I couldn't let you get close to me. Hmm. Close one more. Not too far. Says I hope that you can forgive me one day, and I want to tell you how I feel. Yeah, this person's coming back in, Aries, to tell you everything. They're coming back in to tell you everything. In hopes that you're about to be in love, that in hopes that you will take them back. I don't believe that this person even cares that you're going to be with someone else. So be careful with that. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. Take care.